And the other thing that I remember that I, I was telling um, Garrett was that when we were in, um, in Vegas, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, Alex was a massage therapist. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, he, my back was bugging me, and uh, after, you know, the trip there in the car, and he said, uh, oh, he's like, I'll just give you a massage and, you know, just fix your back. I'm like, okay. So, but for some strange reason, this is really weird. Like, for some strange reason, at the time, of course, I didn't think anything about it, but, you know, now I'm like, all creeped out about it. Um, he said that he we needed to find a Walmart because he wanted to buy this big, huge piece of plastic to put on the bed so the oil didn't get on the bed. But it was one of those ones that you put on the floor when you <coughs> when you paint, okay? And we went to Walmart <coughs> and we got it and you put it on the bed. And this is when you were in Vegas? When we were in Vegas, yeah. It was the day after we got married. So, so you put it on the bed? Yeah. And he gave you the massage wood? And then what and did you do with the weirdest the thing about it was that, and this is when it gets even weirder, because after that, I fell asleep. Okay? Because I was so relaxed after the, the massage. I was so relaxed, I fell asleep. And then um, I remember waking up. I was in and out, in and out, and I could hear him talking. And I was like, who's he talking to? And I get like trying to wake up and finally I'm like, I made myself wake up and I'm like, Alex, I'm like, who are you talking to? He's like, nobody. I was talking to myself. I'm like, okay. So then, um, I remember to took a bath and uh, I, said, let's, I said, let's watch a movie. And he was like, he was on his phone. I think playing his game or something. And he was like super quiet. It was totally eerie for Alex because Alex usually like he was like joking and he would like you would say something and he would find one way or another to make it into a joke and make it funny and like he was always making you laugh and laughing at himself or making a joke about something. But he said nothing for the rest of the evening. Nothing. Well that's really weird that he had you lay on plastic. So, maybe I'm just a little too crazy now because of all the stuff that's happened, but in my back of my mind, I keep thinking that who was on the phone was Chad and Lori, and that that was supposed to be my last day, and he was supposed to. And it very well could have been. Did when So when you woke up, were you did you feel... Like, did you feel normal? I mean, did you feel like when you said you were in and out, in and out of consciousness, like you were trying to wake up or you didn't feel right? Like I was really down, like I was really, really like one of those ones when you're like trying to wake up and you can't wake up kind of thing. Like I was like, I was thinking, why am I so relaxed and I can't wake up kind of thing. You know what I mean? Did you feel drugged? Drowsy, like just I was kind of like really like drowsy, drowsy. I was like, what? What time of day was it? In the middle of the afternoon. Did you? Did he give you anything to drink before that, or make you a drink, or or fix you anything to eat? going to get something to eat and then um, we came back to the hotel and I remember we did have some drinks with us like you know I don't know maybe I might, I mean, I might have had like a no I didn't have a Red Bull that day I had something with me it might have been a water or something I don't know with me and I always use the little cup you know the, I, I didn't like to use the little glasses so I always have my glass with and whatever it was that I was drinking at the time. So. so did he end up, did he give you a massage? I mean, did you have oil on? Not enough to... To use... Or the drop cloth. To what I dropped off, you know what I mean? Uh, it just didn't... At the time, I had no question about it. Now, I'm like, 
why would you necess why would you necessitate a whole job class all over the bed to give me a massage? That that just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Mm. So did And then the fact that he was quiet for the rest that he said nothing. Like nothing after that. He was quiet. And I it, that's so not Alex. Alex is not quiet. So did you ever say, did you ever ask him like, man, what, why did we need all that or what? No. And, and so he, you heard totally. him talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I believed him and he was talking to himself, you know, at the time, you know what I mean? Trusting him completely. Um, and that was right after you guys were married? The day after. And I even asked him, I said, hey, I said, are you okay? Like, like you're so quiet, are you usually not quiet like this? He's like, I'm just tired. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I'm going to leave you alone then so you can rest. So I left him alone. He didn't say anything else. So I ended up watching him with my apartment. I was like, well, keeps on his phone. Dream. I gave him a big game story. And it's little things like that, that that we're super interested in. So if anything like that comes to you again, something that you may think is super small, please let Garrett yeah, know we'll, or we'll communicate it to you for sure. That that was super let weird. Let us know, yeah. Just little things like that that help us put pieces together. Did was that the only time that happened? Did he give you massages before? No. Okay. Did he did he sense then? Uh no. So that was the one time he yeah. offered to give you massage. When we would get together sometimes he would come um and he would put his fingers on my on my on my neck and he'd go he would say, What is it with you people with you uh translated people that have such big uh stressful shoulders or something like that he would say that but I wasn't the only one that was receiving it he would do it to everybody else you know just kind of like relax my you know the neck and then when we got back from Vegas and we were um in my house sometimes in the morning they I have a really hard time waking up and then in the mornings I would like turn my, my alarm off and just sit there trying to like get up and I remember he would like wrap his finger like up and down my my back and go you pick it up, you can wake up, kind of thing, like kind of waking me up, but not a massage, massage like he did that day. So when you woke up from that massage, did you feel like you were way too groggy than you should have been? I was or super, I thought, I'm like, oh my goodness, he's like, well, must be a really good, you know, massage therapist because I am so relaxed right now. Like I am like so, so relaxed. Like I felt like, you know, like when you get out of like the um, sa the sauna, you know, when you get out of the sauna, you're like so relaxed, you could just actually take a nap. That's what I thought. So you didn't feel out of it? No. It was, I, just, it was just relaxed. Very relaxed. Yeah. Like super. And what was really weird though was that in and out that I had when I was laying on the bed because I was, I could hear him talking and I was trying to wake up, but I keep going back down and then I kept hearing him again talking and I and I couldn't discern what he was saying and I could just hear him talking and he was in the bathroom talking. Did he kind of talk to himself much? Well, not really. <laughs> not like that. Like he was actually having a conversation. Like he sounded like he was having a conversation. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when I talk to myself I'm always like you know, say one thing or two things. Or yeah, something. Go to McDonald's for lunch. You know, yeah, something like, something that. like that. But no, no this he, point is, you know, you have yeah. this. he was having a yeah. like a conversation. Okay. So it, you know, now of course putting all this together and processing after, you know, over a year, I keep thinking that he was actually on the phone with somebody when when he, this was happening. 
there was no way that he was going to necessitate a big old drop cloth for that bed to give me a massage. When, when you guys got married or prior to get married, did you guys talk about insurance or life insurance or, or did you add him to anything or did he add you to anything? No, that I know of. Mm-hmm. I know a couple of people have asked me that too. Um, but I wasn't the one that, I, I wouldn't have had any knowledge of that, but Lori would. Because, you know, Charles was in that mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 